Hey folks, welcome back to another video. And maybe you remember a few weeks ago, I made a video about Bitwig Studio's audio import behavior. And with Bitwig Studio 5.2.5 now, we have some kind of solution where they try to fix this. We have now here under settings behavior, this audio import section, and then we have stretch behavior, sync to project, which was the default uh, thing we had before. So now we can switch to original speed here, neutral and raw. And raw means um, every time you drag in a sample, it's not stretched at all. It's always in raw mode. And you can also go back here to sync to project. So when you drag in a sample, it's analyzed for the BPM and also for tempo changes, right? So sometimes you have like a vinyl sample and it changes the tempo over time at different positions inside of the, uh, the, the sample. So you can detect this here, or you can say what I drag in with my samples is always a fixed tempo. It's, it never changes, right? You can also disable this here if you want to. Um, you can also say start clip from sample start or first detected beat, which means um, you don't start at the beginning of the file, of the WAV file. Um, with this here, Bitwig tries to find the first kick drum or the first hi-hat or the first percussion or whatever it starts with, right? And it offsets slightly um, the first beat marker uh, to this point. So you can also choose this here if you want to. Um, so we have a lot of options here. And if you have an audio import here, let's say this one, and it detects a different tempo, it changes the tempo, it uses the stretch mode, and then you can select here the import stretch mode to something different, maybe stretch HD, right? Or slice when you import a lot of drum loops, for instance. Um, so you can change this and also when you record and bounce stuff inside of Bitwig Studio, you can change here the default um, stretch mode. Um, sadly, um, the raw mode is still gone here, but I know from some talks years ago that if you use the stretch mode here and you record something and the tempo doesn't change, um, it actually uses raw mode internally. So there's no stretch applied. So if you have, let's say, a track with 150 BPM and you record an audio sample and it's on another track then, right? It's bounced to a new track. And then this audio clip is using the stretch mode here. But because it doesn't change the BPM of the whole project, it does need to apply stretch mode or stretch mode. So it's the same BPM, so you actually use it in raw mode. Um, but I guess some people still want to have the raw mode in here, even though it doesn't make a, a difference, it's just to feel good in a way. Um, but I think um, if you switch this here to raw, you can see here it's still using then for the record bounce, it's, it's, it still uses stretch then. So let me try this out here. Uh, I first start here with the sync to project and I use a new project here and I make this uh, window a bit smaller so you can see what's going on down in the info bar here. So let's use here, uh, let's say a drum loop. So I drag this in just without holding anything and you can see down in the info bar, we can now use the alt key to uh, use original speed neutral and you can use control key for original speed raw, right? So now I just drag it in without using any key. And now we have here um, the stretch mode and we have tempo 173. So it detects the BPM or maybe it just uses here the file uh, name because I have 173 BPM in there. So it probably uses this uh, info there. So now I'm going back here and drag in something different. Let's say I use this one here and drag it in. And now I can hold down the control key. It looks like this. And now when I click here on this audio clip, you can see on the left side, it uses raw mode, right? And um, BPM is uh, 172. So it's still correct because this is in 172 BPM. Okay, let's go back here to the settings behavior and let's use raw. So now we can drag something in, let's say this one here, the new drag. 
And you can see down in the info bar, we have no options. We can't use alt and control because it's disabled. We always drag in the samples in raw mode. Let's select this. You can see it's raw, right? So let's try and use this here and maybe uh, right click and say bounce to new track, right? And if you remember, we have here in the settings behavior record bounce is always the stretch mode here. We can't select raw. So we right click here and say, where's the option bounce? Post fader, no dither, okay. So this thing here now is still in a stretch mode, right? And it uses 110 ppm because we have here 110 ppm. And I guess if you just play back this audio sample now, it uses internally raw, the raw mode because there is no stretch applied. But when you change the ppm here, then it stays in place and then we use probably uh, raw. Let me. Uh, let me go down. Yeah, then it uses stretch. Right? Uh, we can switch this here to raw and then it looks like this. So, I don't know. Maybe we should also have still in here the raw uh, mode for when you record something. And I guess this one should be disabled, right? If I have this here on original speed raw, this is disabled and this should be then also disabled here. Import because you always import with the raw, with, uh, with the raw mode. So this is, I guess that's my thinking. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. I think they made here some, some great changes. Actually, it goes in the right direction. Um, let me see here in the browser. Um, so this was one feature, importing audio as raw is available as default option. Um, that's coming back basically. Um, yeah, what they also changed is here, when devices are added to the chain via the pop-up browser, they are now, sc now scrolled into view automatically. I think this was also something I said in the video. Uh, it's some random video, I'm not sure. Um, that's about when you have a lot of devices here inside of the chain. Let me see something like this. And then you scroll to the right and then you can't scroll any further, right? And then you want to add a new device here. And this new device then was hidden, uh, below the sidebar. So now we add here the amp, right? And it scrolls into the view. So it scrolls to the left side, which is nice to have. Um, it kind of works. Before you had to add it basically, and then you had to move it to the left side or you had to use the scroll bar to scroll it actually into view. So this is much better. So my opinion, uh, two small, very important changes. I think when they bring back here this uh, raw setting in here, then it's probably perfect. Um, so that's just my guess. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Uh, also leave a like, subscription of course, and um, see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.